Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Brian. Today we got a pretty cool little install. Shouldn't take too long. These are the Rego Fabrication Channel Bed Stiffeners. Now what are these for? What is a bed stiffener for? On the Toyota Tacoma, they have a plastic or composite bed. Which means that if you add too much weight on top, it's like a bed rack with all the stuff, rooftop tent, deck system, all these type things in your vehicle, your bed could begin to bow out and could even crack. Uh, I have not been running these, even though I should have, so we're going to install them today. And then afterwards, we'll put the deck system back in with a new bed mat, see if I like it. But let's kind of see what we're working with, and then we'll go into the install. should be pretty quick. Alright, so here we have the bed stiffener, that awesome little R. So what we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the tail light, we're going to take the bolts out, take the tail light, set it down here on the box. No big deal, just set it there. You could install it, uh, uninstall it. We're not going to do that, we're just going to set it there. Then we're going to remove these two stock bolts that are already in there. Uh, I'll get you the sizes in a moment. And then we're going to drill three holes into the bed. That's why we removed the tail light because we're going to have to bolt these things in through this little opening behind the tail light. And then we'll, uh, you know, put the bolts back in, tighten everything down, and be done. It shouldn't take more than just a few minutes. And as promised, these are the two bits. So for the larger uh, bolt here, this is a T55. And for the smaller one on the D ring, this is a T40. So those are the two that we're going to use. We'll remove these and uh, get going. All right, so once you've removed the three bolts from the inside, the tail light just pops right out. Just, you know, grab it, give it a snug little pull, all right, and then there's just one little clip down here that's holding it in. You can just take the tail light at this point, set it down. That's all you really got to do. You can let it dangle. I prefer to just set it down because these are aftermarket. I don't want to break them. Now let's go to the next step. All right, so here's what the inside will look like once the tail light is removed. Once again, you don't have to remove this very top bolt. All right, but one, two, three. I think you really only got to remove one of the two. I couldn't remember which one it was. I removed them both just for safekeeping. I think it's just the bottom, but, you know, whatever. Never hurt anybody. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two bolts, and we're going to go ahead and take the washer out of this one, and then put the bed stiffener down, replace the bolts, and then we'll start marking the holes and get ready to go. the d-ring you've got a couple pieces on the bottom you have an you know this thin washer the lock washer and this big piece you're not going to need this anymore so just remove that put the lock washer back and then put the other washer back if i can stop dropping it the reason for that is because the bed stenders are already thick enough so you're not going to need that piece to bolt it down another quick thing to remember is if you're going to do these with rego then the bed stender that has the r that goes on the passenger side These are the three holes we're going to drill. I'll go ahead to the top one first, bolt it in, get it nice and secure. That way this thing doesn't shake just in case. I'm going to do the other two. Um, these are going to be roughly a half inch size hole uh, with a drill bit. Um, and then we'll go from there. So there you got the bolt done through the bed 
And if you want to look at it from the inside of the uh, tail light, that's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and finish the other two and then they're done. folks it's all done it's installed you know if I wasn't playing with the camera it probably wouldn't take more than just a few minutes it's a really easy install let me go ahead and knock out the other side and then we'll finish up hey, hey well there you have it folks bed stiffeners are installed uh, are they mandatory no are they gonna be helpful I think so they serve several purposes they're gonna keep the bed from bowing they're gonna keep my bed nice and strong as I add weight might even do a rooftop tent at some point they add a couple extra anchor points for tie downs and things along those lines. So they do serve a purpose. Uh, does every truck need them? That's something you have to decide with your vehicle. Once again, I am not a mechanic. I am not a professional. Do this at your own risk. Uh, I think it's worth it. I think I did it to the best of my ability. I tried to follow the instructions, even though, you know, I'm not a mechanic, but I tried. Uh, nobody's ever called me smart, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I think they're going to work out. They're going to help. And uh, see you guys in the future. Please like and subscribe this video if you like the content.